You know what sucks is people telling me that, uh, why do you collect all these movies? Why do you collect all of them? You haven't watched all of them, have you? I have about, uh, I don't know, 700 movies in my collection. That's counting box sets and all of that stuff. Uh, and I have not watched all of them. I'm like you out there. I don't know a movie collector, a Blu-ray collector, a 4K collector that has watched every movie in their collection because they haven't, because it's not possible. So why are people out there trying to make you feel bad about not watching every movie in your collection? Let's dive in and see why. So I, I, I love picking up movies. I love physical media. I love the art on the boxes. I love everything about it. It's just one of my favorite hobbies. I love seeing stacks of movies at the store, at wherever else. Stacks of movies that come in like these from the Scream Factory, you know, going out of print sale. And it just blows my mind that sometimes people comment on my videos, other people's videos on Twitter, wherever. Oh, well, you have all those movies. You're never going to watch all of them. Well, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to ever watch every single movie I have. But there are ways that you can go about watching most of the movies. You can just pick them randomly. You can get a phone app that does it. But it just goes to a bigger problem that people have this sort of feeling about physical media and about physical media collectors that... Oh, well, you're kind of, oh, you're crazy because you're collecting all of this. You have all this stuff that's going to collect dust. Oh, well, you know, you have, you're spending too much money on your hobby. One, I will say to that is, um, it's my hobby. It's not yours. And you can use this as well. It's my hobby. It's not yours. So, sorry. If I choose to spend my money on movies that I want to watch or that I want to own or whatever else, that's my decision and it's not yours. So there's that, and it's, it's a way to sort of connect with this community, with this audience, with everybody, with you out there watching this video. It's me connecting to you, you connecting to me. We're both physical media collectors. We both love collecting Blu-rays or 4Ks or video games or whatever else, and it's our hobby, and we love doing it. I like collecting Magic the Gathering cards as well. It's just something that, you know, it makes me happy. And that's really at the heart of this whole thing is that, you know, other people seeing people happy on YouTube, it's just jealousy. It is. It really is. It's either people jealous that they don't have, you know, a bunch of movies to watch or that they're jealous that they don't have a bunch of cool people to hang out with while they're watching these movies or talking about them in the communities that we have. And it's just sad because it feels like it's driving people out. And there's people in the physical media collecting community that are even on, on, on the toxic side that's Either their videos are toxic because they know that negative engagement, baiting, uh, will get them views. Or there's people that, uh, even the, like, super toxic positivity that you can get with. Where I'm a, I try to be a really positive person when it comes to my hobbies, collecting, and all of that. Uh, but there's people out there that are, oh, well, we have to collect all these movies because they're going to try to take it away from you. That's not true. You know... <laughs> The, the, the government's not going to come kick down my door and try to take my copy of Krampus the Naughty Cut over here. Uh, I, I used to say that, or I, I said that when I bought um, French Connection. Here we go. This movie. They, Disney censored this movie. I bought a Blu-ray copy of it because I wanted to get the uncensored version. And I was using the excuse of, well, um, Disney's going to take away, can, can take away, you can't take this away from you. And they can't. They can't kick down my door. Last I checked, Mickey Mouse isn't going to come kick down my door and take this away from me, but... You want to do stuff like that so you can preserve film history. You can preserve the way that people watched it. That's why people care so much about Star Wars, about the original versions. They want to watch it how they watched it, which is why you might collect something like this. This is just a box, but this is my original Star Wars VHS box. It's empty because my VHS tape is in my special edition over there that I have. But this was the original box for the VHS copy of Star Wars that I wore out as a kid. And this is... The original version, this is as it was intended almost as people watched it in 1977. You know, people buy those despecialized editions all the time because they want it the way that it was intended. And that's a big thing about physical media. That's a big thing about collecting is because we want the movie as we watched it the first time. Because you want to capture that feeling, whether that's CDs. I want to capture the first time I listened to Senjutsu on the CD or 72 Seasons by Metallica, or Number of the Beast up here by Iron Maiden. 
or the first time I watched The Evil Dead. You want to capture that feeling and hold it in because it's nostalgic. It is a nostalgic feeling. And that's really what I can say about people trying to make you and I feel bad for collecting movies and, oh, well, you won't watch all of them. Well, we're trying to, folks. We're trying to. We, I made a video about how to get through your physical media backlog. You can check that out right here, by the way. But you know what I did? I saw this idea online. I'm going to get up and grab it and show it to you because I think it's really cool and I want more people to see it. It's the popcorn bucket that looks like popcorn with little pieces of paper and you shuffle it up. And I have movies in here that I haven't seen or movies in here that uh, people that I want to show movies to can go and be like, hey, grab a, grab a uh, piece of popcorn. Let's watch a movie tonight. So this idea, if you want to steal it, just get yourself a popcorn bucket, a bunch of yellow and orange paper, a nice pen, uh, some lotion for your hands because you'll be drying them out, crumpling up pieces of paper. And this is a big solution to that. This is a solution to the problem that these people are posing online of, oh, well, you're never going to watch all of your movies. I'm going to try to watch all of my movies and I'm going to try to watch all the movies I buy. But um it's another thing about film preservation because there's a lot of movies from Vinegar Syndrome. If you go back and watch my full collection, I haven't watched a good portion of these movies and a good portion being, I don't know, like 35, 40% of the ones that I've bought. That might seem like a high number, but a company like Vinegar Syndrome, I'm going to support them no matter what because they do a great job for preserving film history. They preserve the movies that people don't see. That's equally as important as preserving something like heat or like the godfather those movies that we consider the greatest of all time it's important to, to protect those and preserve them it is equally as important to preserve the movies that people aren't seeing movies like i can't show this this full box i almost did but like flesh eater um like flesh eater there you go like this this movie it's not it's obscure it's a sort of sequel to night of the living dead it's the original zombie from night of the living dead uh bill hensman and not a lot of people have seen that movie a movie like um ice cream man the last drive-in on uh, shutter with joe bob briggs showed this movie i bought this movie because of that but you have to preserve movies whether they're big or small and buying physical media like that is a portion of it it's not like i'm buying it and saying that like oh i'm preserving it forever when, you know, we're going into our doomsday vaults, I'm going to be carrying heavy buck like loads of movies in. No, not like that, because that's ridiculous. But it's preserving, it's helping a company that helps preserve physical media, phys like movies. They preserve everything. So the stuff that would get censored or the stuff that people would look down on, they're the ones that are saving it. Aero Video, they're doing the same thing. Screen Factory, they're doing the same thing. These companies, obviously, they're there to make a buck. But they're there to preserve film history, and so are we. That's our 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 job should be to apply pressure to bigger companies, Disney, Paramount, Warner Brothers, that are putting out movies like these ones on streaming that aren't getting physical media releases. It's ridiculous that we had to wait so long to get a physical media release for the Marvel shows. We don't have all of them yet either. We've got the the new wave of these coming out, but we had to really fight tooth and nail to give them the reason to put these out on 4k and blu-ray and now we have it that's putting pressure they're showing people that hey there is a market for this they might charge a little more so it sucks that these are re you know, msrp for like 50 60 dollars or whatever but at a certain point our our hobby is going to become something like the way that vinyl is now where vinyl sells a whole lot but there's a whole lot of special editions of vinyl. So you're going to be getting special editions or whatever else. And it's it's just at the end of the day, it comes back to the fact that it makes me happy. It should make me happy. It makes you happy collecting it. And whether your collection is 20 movies or 2,000 movies. That number doesn't matter to anybody but you. It's impressive, but I don't want 2,000 movies in my collection. I like my collection the way it is. You can is. I've thinned out my collection over the years. I don't buy as much as I used to because not as much is coming out and I, I just don't need a lot of it, but the stuff that I do buy, it makes me happy. So that's really the, the extent of people are out there trying to make you feel bad because you haven't watched all the movies in your collection. Well, I say screw them. So that's, that's that. Who cares? Don't listen to them because it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. It's your collection. You collect how you want to. 
If you like this video and you want to see more like this, and you want to see some collecting tips to help you save money on the stuff you do buy, check out this video right here.